Gemini, hello. Just rolled for you. It says Virgo moon in the first house. Goodness gracious. Let me just tell you that there's a lot of emotions swirling around here, especially with that moon energy. It's like motherly energy as well. However, if you're dealing with somebody in which you are emotionally connected, it looks like a person is overly sensitive during this time. And it's creating a sense of being super complicated. So your situation with a person feels complicated. A person's emotions are directly creating this scenario, actually. It's like someone wants something to be a certain way. It needs to be very specific. Someone's being very nitpicky with someone. You need to dress like this. You need to behave this way. Let me just tell you, a person here may be focusing on the pitfalls or the downfalls of a situation where they're just going to pick something apart and find more fault more challenges, more problems. And if someone would just sit back and kind of chill out a little bit, whoever's doing this, maybe it's a Virgo. I don't know. If they would just chill out a little bit, they would realize that yes, there are actually good things here. Yes, there are blessings here. As soon as you create expectations of a person, especially in beloved relationship, you're creating a scenario to be depleted I'm hearing and dismissed. You're creating a scenario to be not having your expectations met. Disappointed. Someone may be doing this, but they're creating the disappointment, if that makes sense. Because of what they expect that they, they said, I expect you to do this. And the other person is like, I never said I was that kind of person. Those are not my values. That is not in alignment with me. Okay, so I do feel somebody's being nitpicky. Some of you guys, this is someone's parent where nothing's ever good enough. Maybe this is a mother, a mother that feels this way and makes her children feel like nothing is ever good enough. You'll never amount to anything. If you do a good job, she'll find something wrong. That's what this feels. Who's coming toward Gemini? Who's in the energy? Okay, and I feel like there's hurt feelings here too. Maybe I hurt your feelings, Gemini. Not my intention. So signs and synchronicities and snake. Hmm. Who's coming toward Gemini? Between the lines. Okay. Well, interesting. So you're dealing with like a passive aggressive Virgo or someone's doing this. Like a person's giving you silent treatment, but they won't tell you why they're upset. That's what this feels. So some somebody's being passive aggressive with you, Gemini, and I feel like you're going to understand that here. They're trying to give you hints, like really covertly trying to tell you what's up or what's wrong. You're just like, I don't understand what you're saying or what's bothering you. Okay. Like they're being, they're just implying things. They're not direct with you. I feel like this is bothering you. Someone could be on the spectrum here or they don't know it, or they suspect that they're on the spectrum is what I'm getting. So, okay, wedding. Whoa, crossroads. There's a choice about a relationship. Is this my person or no? Like, are we going to stay together or no? It's like divorce or marry kind of thing. Where's Gemini in the energy? Change. I'm hearing, I'm like a bird, I want to fly away. You know those lyrics? I don't know where my home is. Oh, goodness. All right. So, yeah, we've got some heartbreak, hurt, betrayal, grief, and disappointment. I feel like somebody feels like they're staying in a hotel, just kind of out of place. Like, oh, okay, this place is a little bit uncomfortable, but it, it'll do. So, maybe that somebody that you know is kicking out their partner or their partner has to leave for the night or something. I don't know. It looks like a person has been going to hotels. This is a very side note, okay? So, that's what's going to be found out on like credit card charges or something. Um, or it's like your kid, your, your child is racking up charges for very strange things, or you just don't understand your, okay. Heartbreak is coming through about that. Okay. So let's go to the general sense. We've got change, unexpected home and third party. 
Okay. Someone's like barging into your home, Gemini. You're like, who are you? Why are you here? I feel like someone hits you up out of nowhere while you're just relaxed. You're having fun. You're doing your own thing. And maybe like someone rings your doorbell and you're meditating kind of energy or someone calls you and you're in the middle of like a really nice bath. Where's Gemini here? Where's Gemini in the energy? And you're like, who are you? Yeah. Gemini in the energy. Yeah, I feel like if you have like a young adult as a child or a teenager, they're spending money in very in ways that you don't agree with. I want to say, okay, not necessarily bad, but okay. Addiction, toxic attachment, drugs, alcohol, and obsession. Yeah, so that's in here, of course. So unfinished business. That's all right. You're letting go. You're letting go of um, a promise that you have kept to yourself and to another person to always be there, to always show up, to always be dependable. I feel like you have been super devoted to the point that something is not good for your health anymore with this toxic attachment energy, the, the addiction, drugs, alcohol, obsession. Like you feel that you really gave something your all here. The thing is you still have unfinished business, but it's like you're trying to release, release, but somebody's grabbing on is what I'm seeing. Okay. Okay. You may feel like what's wrong with you. Are you doing drugs? Like you could be thinking that about a person. What is the dynamic between Gemini and this person in the reading? Okay. Ghosted crossroads. Yeah. Someone took a chance and they decided to disappear is what I'm seeing with ex lover was the dynamic Gemini and this person. Okay. Distance. Yeah, of course. Friends. Trust, support, loyalty. I feel like, yeah, at one point you felt super close with this person and now you're not feeling so. It's not so much close. You feel actually boundaries or like, hey man, I can't keep doing this with you. I need my sanity is what this feels. Give me one on this addiction and Gemini's. Three of swords, right? So, wow, someone's just really shattering your sense of self and your self-esteem. Even the situation is wearing you thin. Maybe you've already felt this. I feel like you had, like you made yourself have to get to this point. You were trying to say, no, it's not true. It'll fix, it'll get better, but it didn't. So you're stopping because you're realizing you're looking at yourself in the mirror. Who am I? Why have I allowed this to happen here? Who's in the reading? Yes. Okay. Wow. This is the person that's being all risky. There, somebody's doing some weird things out here. So the full card and yeah, the king of swords. They won't change. You're not, they don't want to quit like you. They don't want to change like you. They don't want to give up an addiction or they don't want to stop doing, you know, whatever the challenge or the problem is that's presented itself. They're not doing that. What are signs and synchronicities? I feel like they're trying to come in too. Yeah. Oh, definitely. This is a Sagittarius. They're trying to come in. This person is trying to make you feel like they're in control. Like things are under control. They got everything under wraps, but it's not. It's like someone's ass is showing. Something is showing. Nine of wands, right? <laughs> What's going on with this person? Scorpio sun in the fifth, right? Well, that's called romance, babe. That's called romance. It's called lust. This could also be someone um, dealing with children or you are like, like I said, somebody's adult child could be kind of doing some strange things you don't agree with, whatever it is. All right. We don't need to get into that. Maybe if it's even like just not responding to you or going missing for periods of time. It's like, I tried to tell you, no, you didn't. It's very, uh, they're trying to tell you something by not telling you or they're omitting information yet yeah, because they're afraid and they want, they don't want you to be afraid, Gemini. They don't want you to feel like you have to be in control of things that like you have to manage them and their lifestyle. Whoever this is, they feel like I got it. I got it, Gemini, or I got it, mom, or I got it. Whoever actually, no, they don't. They're having a little bit of difficulty. There is some indulgence going on with the nine of cuffs. Okay. Where's Gemini in the vibe? You're just like, Hey, I thought we were cool. You're higher font. Well, no wonder they're hiding because they feel like Oh, six of swords. 
you're like, Hey, we need to talk. But this person feels like you're kind of upholding the law. Like you slam a book down. Basically it's like section 104 B, you know, I don't know, B2 or something like that Two B. Uh, it says this and you're supposed to be doing this and you didn't, this person feels like you're kind of laying down the law, so to speak. And they feel that they can't face you. That's why they're doing this. I see that you want to talk about what you guys agreed upon. You're like, Hey, we need to talk. There's a conversation we need to have. I'm willing to be flexible with you. I see you saying that to this person, just come clean or come forward with me. Like, tell me what's really up. I feel like you need clarity. Yeah. And so there's something this person has been wanting to tell you. Like I said, they're just kind of pussyfooting around or beating around the bush. When they try to tell you something, they're choked up as throw chakra energy. So Sagittarius South node. Yeah, this could be a Sagittarius and the seventh house. You want to talk about your relationship, but this person is like hiding. They're in the dark. Like, where are you? Come out. I see like you're missing your cat or something or your dog. You go out in the middle of the night and they're underneath the bushes. You're like beating them, beating the bushes to see if cats come out or something. That's what this feels like. So this could be literal for someone. How this person sees you, don't let your animals out, especially not in October. Uh, people do weird things. So the three of wands... Yeah, I feel like your cat's going to, you're going to miss a, a pet. A pet is going to go missing. Eight of pentacles. Why do they see Gemini with eight of pentacles? Okay. Chariot. Interesting. Definitely, you're very ambitious. You know what you want. It looks like you're putting in a lot of work for that, too. You should be proud of your accomplishments, is what this person says. They're saying Gemini put a lot of effort, a lot of diligence into their work. They knew what they wanted, and they're moving ahead swiftly, quickly, and with a passion. And I feel like here you kind of, there's some sort of a setback you're thinking about. You know how to nip it in the bud. If you are draining energy or resources on something, you you nip that real quick. So I feel like you're tidying up your subscriptions. How does this how do you see this person? I see that you're planning something too. You're just waiting until that happens. When you get off work, you're going to call this person or go toward them. So Queen of Wands, it's a, it's a freaking Sagittarius, the Five of Cups. So you know that this person is sad or they miss you. Absolutely, Sagittarius. They miss you. They feel bad. You know that. You also may miss this person. I feel like you've been very committed, devoted to this person. And like I said, you really wrote it dry is what I'm hearing. There's nothing here that's like lubricating anymore. Maybe somebody's turned you off or like you can't grease your gears to keep moving forward with this person. No, no, no. It's the person not allowing. How does Gemini feel about this person? Yeah. Eight of swords. You're like, if only you would get along with me or fall in line like the rest of everybody, your family to me, or you're part of my community. And I want you there. You're, you you kind of want this person to be involved. You want them to participate, but you don't see them doing that. You, f you keep thinking about how to make this person participate. And I feel like that's not the right question. Yeah, Gemini, you may be too focused on this person. When they are not doing the same to you. Let's see here. You have family values. Absolutely. Very traditional type energy for what I'm reading. You see potential with this person. You're like, I've given them everything they could ever want. Why are they not? Well, that's because they don't want to, or they're not able. Okay. You have to be willing and able. And one of those is off or both. So here we have Libra Uranus in the second. Yeah, that's the thing. I feel like, see, you're saying, you know, you've given so much to the situation. You give a lot to family. You love family. You have more traditional values. Maybe uh, you're, something could be foreign here, or you are, 
you just have a different way of life and thinking and value system than this person. How this person feels, maybe it is your family though, but they just kind of are an outlier. How this person feels about Gemini. Fool. The moon. What's this, please? Yeah. Leo, Jupiter in the 11th. Someone feels like you are okay with putting on a facade in front of your family or friends. Or that's what they're a part of. Like something is, is false about them. Maybe you hide them or, or they can't, they don't fit in with your peers, with your. With your family. Someone has two dogs, two medium dogs. They feel embarrassed. Someone's embarrassed to show their face. It's like, I'm not good enough or your people don't like me. You know, whoever your people are with this, this 10 of pentacles. What does this person want with my Gemini? Four of pentacles. What does this person want with my Gemini? Four of swords. Four of, he's like, you come from two different worlds, different planets or something. Okay, yeah, four of swords, a four of pentacles, a wheel. They're waiting for something else to change. They're dipping out. I'm telling you, this person's like disappearing. And you know that though. What's this? Some some sort of like an illness maybe here as well. Uh, three of Wands. What is between the lines, please? Page of Swords. Magician. Right. Uh, five of Swords. And This person is very much so disappointing you. Absolutely. I guess I picked this up. You're stopping an exchange with them because you don't know what, what you're paying for anymore. It's like, did I invest in this? Yeah. Someone, what are they doing? If you're giving this person money because you're the breadwinner or you're successful, they don't, Again, they're doing something that you do you disagree with. You're going to find out about that. And now you have to about face. You have to change. What is this person? Temper. And someone's healing. What is this for? Swords, please. Again. Hi, priestess. They're going to go silent AWOL until something else changes. Capricorn sun in the seventh. Yeah. They're waiting on the sidelines. They're waiting to be called on or something like that. It's like, did you say my name? Yes. Okay, it's like roll call. Where is this person? Temperance. They're going to go silent. They're wondering if you're mad at them. There's a child here. Like I said, there's mother-child dynamic. I don't know if it's you or you have a child with somebody, you know, if this is your kid, if you're the kid, but... This person is, um, they're waiting for you to call on them, but they're not going to answer in the meantime. So it's very interesting. I don't know why. It's like they need to wait for you to decide to message them again or hit them up again. And in the meantime, they're chilling. They're okay with that. They're fine. Okay, they're speaking in codes towards you or they're speaking in tongues. Things are very weird when you deal with this person. What's going on with this person, please? Uh, yeah, some of you guys, you have a child and, and they're, they're like gay or something. And that's why they're ashamed or 
This could be against your beliefs or against something. Your family's beliefs, maybe? Side note, okay? Uh, anyway, you know, it looks like this person may, may have some... Uh, I don't know. The, way, the things that they like, okay, may be different for you. Or someone's. Ace of, yeah, yes, Ace of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Okay, what does Gemini want with this person? It's like, I've been meaning to tell you, but I was trying to hint at it, but you didn't catch on. It's like, you're oblivious, Gemini, or someone feels this way. How do you feel about this? It's like someone's gay. How do you feel about, or what do you want? Oops, lovers. Yikes, let me put that away. <laughs> what does Gemini want with this person, please? So interesting. Yeah, and I feel like, oh, eight of cups, two of wands. The thing is, you feel like you have no more choices, no more options. This isn't up to you at this point. You may have really wanted this reconciliation. Like you've been looking forward to this. Like you would have run back in a heartbeat for this person. You're like, I would have been there. I would have been there. Okay. I feel like you have a lot of fond memories of this person. Maybe when somebody was a baby or a child, you're thinking about your baby or your child or when you were a baby or a child or whatever, but you definitely have reconciliation energy with this person. And, and you're going to tap out on that. You're saying, you know what? I can't care about this right now. The eight of cups. The energy is like, I got to go. I got to keep it moving. So you look like you're choosing to move forward. You're going to find something is disconnected in your emotions here. You don't trust something or yeah. Hold on. That's why you have changed. Something is changing. Yeah. Taurus had something like this too. So. Gemini, moon in the 12th. Oh, goodness. Moon in the 12th is Gemini. That's your energy, Gemini. It's like you're ready to bury your feelings here because this may have been you where you were inquiring or continuously asking, maybe prying with this person or trying to kind of understand what the hell they're trying to get at. Like, why are you pussyfooting like that? Let's just talk. And you come to find out that it's not working and someone is actually feeling pressured by that, Gemini. Not that you're intending this. Someone is starting to feel like consuming mother, like the all-consuming mother type energy. You ever heard of like helicopter moms or something like that? Uh, that's what they're feeling. Now, I don't even know that this is your child. I'm just saying this person is feeling like there's a lot going on that they, they don't want to answer to, or they can't answer to. Again, you have to be willing and able, right? And what you're saying is, you know, why am I, why am I prying? Why am I even trying here? And I see that you will be retreating and stuffing your feelings. You're going to pretend that you don't care when you may. You may still care with this moon in the 12th, okay? Moon is always feelings. You're just hiding them from yourself. And this is a choice. You, you can choose this if you want to or not, of course. Okay, can I just, uh, me, myself, let's pry a little, huh? Me, myself, and pry. I feel like that should be my next YouTube channel. It's a joke. Okay, 22, 20, 23, 23 may be a message. What the hell was the dynamic prior to this, please and thank you? Magish. Okay, that's you. You were the one taking initiative here. Yeah, no wonder. I mean, that kind of makes sense. You decided to stop, and now this person's just like, oh, well, you know, I guess everything's fine over here. Six of Cups is in the energy. What are they not saying to Gemini? devil oh so yeah some sort of societal expectations may be occurring with this person someone feels like they can't amount to something like hey like i don't believe the same as society or or you in the family gemini like i'm not the same here i am problematic i'm the black sheep that's the kind of energy i'm getting there may also be like maybe somebody has an addiction again we have this Okay, maybe you were trying to make someone, it's like you were trying to build this person into someone that they don't want to be. And I don't know why they don't want to be, but that's what it is. It's like, that's how they're feeling at least, okay? Uh, they feel, they're trying not to tell you that they feel pressure, that they feel an obligation to the family or to make money or to perform in some way. And they don't want to put on a performance. Someone feels like they cannot be themselves in front of a group. Not you. 
I'm talking about this group. And somehow it's a guilty by association, if that makes sense. Yeah, the world. So, you know, someone wants to be able to go back home, go back to their town and stuff and not be seen, not be known, not be approached by everybody that they know. It's like they want more privacy. They want privacy. And they don't trust your people. I don't know why. Is this racism? I don't know. It's like they feel they're underperforming at life. They may not, like someone could be, maybe they work, someone could work for an authority or some sort of society or someone works for like military police, something like that, or the government. And this person does not trust that. There could be like a police in the family or something. Okay. Police officers, they're like, mm -mm. something like this. And that could just be... Yeah. What's going to happen next for Gemini? High Priestess. So this person's going silent. Yeah. And see, I feel like, you know, okay, you're making peace with that from what I'm seeing. It's time for you to learn how to uh, take what's in front of you or revert back to that and not necessarily the things that are out of reach. I feel like reach for the things and the people that are in front of you and not out of reach, if that makes sense. Cause it's like, you can not expend so much energy with this. Something is changing in your attitude. I feel like you're be cautious though. Yeah. You're very intuitive and maybe sensitive during this time, but you're stuffing it down to where it could be like loose cannon or what is that called? Dynamite. It's like, like a firecracker type energy. So Libra South node in the ninth. Yeah. Your beliefs about family, about religion, about um, what side you're on and whatever that means to you, uh, some sort of belief about this kind of person versus that kind of person, different walks of life is changing. The way that you view relationships and marriage is changing. You're letting go of that. It's like you're having, if you feel like you're out of body at this point, like an out of body experience outside your own body here. Yeah. See, because I feel like you're very, you're connected to someone. Is this a Pisces? No wonder. You're determined to not care about someone anymore. Queen of Pentacles. It could be an earth sign. Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, uh, Sagittarius, Pisces energy. You're determined not to care anymore. You're just, you're like, look, I can't do this yet. Yeah, Taurus energy now, uh, North node in the fourth. You're recreating your home and family. You have a new comfort zone that's coming in too. What does this change? One card right here. 10 of swords. Damn. Okay. The strength, two of pentacles. Yeah. And so you keep going, keep on, um, what is it? Keep on swimming. Is that Dora? <laughs> That's what this feels like with the 10 of swords. Okay. You're recuperating. The 10 of swords is your energy. You know that there's life after this, something you're letting go of this. It's like you held on very, very tightly to the way that you wanted something to be. Like I said, and it, you just understand now that that's not what it is for you, that there's more growth outside of this for you. Okay. So it's like you have, maybe this is an addiction for some and you're cold Turkey, whatever it is. Maybe you're addicted to a person or, you know, somebody here could be addicted to, to psychics or tarot. Goodness. Okay. It's, it's, it's something like this. There's some sort of a feeling that you keep repeating here. And I feel like it's, um, it's no longer serving you. It's no longer suiting you either. Can I get an advice card? King of swords, 10 of pentacles. Wow. That's what I'm saying too. And the moon secrets. Okay. The thing is I do see, uh, wow. I'm hearing executor. Something about inheritance, money, family, that kind of thing needs to be sorted out. I see an attorney or an agent or whatever this is. Okay. So moon 
Oh yeah, you may have to get an investigation with the 12th house. Did I say moon? Leo, um, Saturn in the 12th. Okay, there's some sort of investigation happening here. I do see that. Things are private, like a PI maybe. You're looking into accounts or someone's getting audited, something like that is what I see. Magician, all right. You may need to kind of take a look over your own situation and what's actually in front of you. This is again coming in, especially your 12th house energies, because 12th house can be hidden from ourselves. And it's the way that we sabotage ourselves without noticing. And it looks like there's certain things that are needing your attention in your actual environment. Maybe this is, you know, money or your family. You're a leader here. Your guidance is needed or you're needed to take charge of something that's already here in front of you. Maybe something you're procrastinating or putting off but I see that this is meant to happen. You could feel very dissatisfied with your family, your home. You could be dissatisfied with your finances, but it's almost the energy of like, you feel you failed, but actually it looks like auditing your situation will do you good or just taking a look around. Yeah. What's in your reach. There's people here that need your connection or need to talk to you, or there's Things that need to be sorted out that only you could do is what it feels like. Your emotional world may be a little bit in turmoil here, Gemini, because it's like this, just this haunted feeling of, wow, I messed up here. I messed up there. You may feel kind of guilty about things and that may be a little bit difficult to process. Try not to stay too much in the should have, would have, could have type energies. Because everything had its time and place, basically. You have a lot. I mean, the Ten of Pentacles. If you put your effort toward the Ten of Pentacles, which is, you know, your legacy. Being comfortable. Being happy with what you have and the connections therein. If you focus on this. The sky is the limit, like especially with the magician, you are very capable. You are highly in talented and intelligent. Your skills are needed. Okay. So let me see here. Can I get, and your leadership skills, especially you could be delegating tasks, perhaps beneficial, supportive, Gemini for Gemini. Okay. Hakamiya strength card. Oh goodness. You got the strength. The, what does that say? The raising God loyalty delivery from those who seek to oppress brings victory. Yeah. See, so the thing is, you may actually be being oppressed by a situation and you may not be seeing it that way. Okay. Especially this 12th house is like hidden in plain sight type energy. So Libra Saturn in the second. Yeah. Okay. Um, valuing discipline, hard work. I'm hearing ethics. <laughs> It's something that looks like it's very important to you and stability and things like that. And you need a partner to also value this with that Libra energy. Uh, there's loyalty. You value loyalty. You value working together towards a common goal. Like you're a Gemini who seeks more and growth and abundance and things like that. Like you're, you're actively trying to grow and it looks like you need someone to also support you in that way. If you don't have that, or you need to seek somebody who has those same values in mind. Yeah. Justice. Kaliel. It says the invocable God justice makes truth known in court causes innocence to prevail. Yeah. So maybe you're representing a group or a community here and it looks like this is a sense, a source of pride for you, a source of 
connection. Beneficial supportive focus point. Let me get one of these first. Beneficial supportive focus point for Gemini. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. Full moon in Pisces. Okay, that's nice. What else? All things in balance. Hold your vision. Be bold and make the first move, right? So be decisive. That is also with that King of Swords. Be decisive on your plans for the future and enact them with the magician. Be bold, make the first move. This is part of your advice because I see that you have the Ten of Pentacles in reach or it needs some adjustments. And the Ten of Pentacles is all the things that will make you really fulfilled and stable and happy long-term as well as your loved ones as well. So I feel like you're being supported in this way. A fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries. Yeah, you're being supported to have your actions be backed up by spirits and help you in the realms of growth. Hold your vision, though. Like, you have to be focused. You need focus and determination. Beneficial, supportive. Focus point. Yeah, focus. Okay. Shekinah. The presence of the divine feminine. At the center of everything, there is light. And I am that light. So I feel like, you you know, you're bringing clarity to a group of people here. Maybe you're a spokesperson, spokesmodel, or like you're speaking up for a community at large. There's some, something here about you doing that. Maybe this is some sort of, you know, uh, some sort of belief of yours, a belief system of yours. Maybe you're doing this for your family, okay? I feel like you're standing for truth, for justice. This looks like someone speaking in the court of law, you know, or like at a, at like a, a meeting, for example, beneficial, supportive. Whoa, I am peace. Yes, darling. The mystic of peace. I am peace. When my mind is clear, the way is clear. So clarity, clarity is very, very important. If you feel that something is intangible or you don't know, and you're feeling like uh, you're trying to read the, between the lines, you're getting signs and somebody's like hiding something from you, or they're being super, they're making you speculate, you know, then that's not the energy for you because you're being, you're being asked to focus on what is clear and where you can have clarity, the things in front of you, again, the things that you can smell, touch, taste, hear, all those things. See, that's where your peace is right now. Because someone here is like misleading you or not being fully authentic. Thank you so much, Gemini. I'll see you next time.